Hi and welcome, I'm Dan and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over four of Filmora's AI powered features for overall voice and audio enhancement. You'll see me in a minute clean up some pretty bad audio and even take out the lyrics and the voice from a song. It's incredible. So let's jump into Filmora and I'll show you how these features work. First, the AI powered audio stretch, which is amazing. So if you're like me, when you're making videos on my timeline, like here is a song, for example, and if I zoom in, you can see that this is three minutes and 35 seconds long. But the video, for example, I could need it to be four minutes long and my track, my audio track, isn't quite long enough. Usually what that would mean would be cutting the track somewhere in the middle I'd normally do, drag it along, blend it and try and blend the track very badly to try and make it four minutes long. But with Filmora, I can fix this in pretty much one click. So all you have to do is make sure you select your track on your timeline here. Now watch this, it ends right here at 3.35 and if I just play a little bit of this, that's how it's ending right there. But now if I come above the timeline, if I hover over, it'll say audio stretch. I can click that, come to the edge of my track, see the symbol appear, and I can drag that along and it tells me what the end time is now gonna be. So if I want it to be four minutes, let go, let it do its magic, it's as quick as that. Now that part we just heard end, let's listen now. It just continues until we've got to here and then and it finishes there. So if I wanted it even longer, I could keep going and it can make some more. It's as quick as that. With just a click and a drag, you can have your track automatically become the exact length you want and Filmora intelligently adds music onto it. Okay, so another tool I wanted to show you is probably uh, my favorite. It's the AI vocal removal tool. So you can actually remove the voice from a song. So back to our timeline, just gonna remove this and tidy up. If I come up here and grab the song, Filmora Music Song, I've called it. Now let me just play you a little bit of that. Down in my little studio on the edge of town Got a new tool called Filmora, it never lets me down. Okay, so a song about uh, Filmora uh, right there. So what I can do with this is I can actually extract the vocals. You heard the person singing there, extract those and have a separate track for the instrumental and the vocals. Amazing. So all you have to do once again, make sure you have selected your track on your timeline. Then I'm gonna go up to tools, hover over tools, and then go to audio and AI vocal remover and select that. And it'll pop up and it will do its magic in no time at all. You can see the percentage increasing here. Okay, so that's just finished. And you can see what it's done here. This is my original track right here, Filmora Music Song. Then it's got the voice Filmora Music Song and background Filmora Music Song. So I'm just gonna mute the original for a second. And if I mute the background one, you can hear the voice. It's gonna be just the vocals. Remember what we had before on the song? Down in my little studio on the edge of town. Got a new tool called Filmora. It never lets me down. <laughs> so in the same way, if I just mute that and I go to, let's leave it here where there would be uh, speaking, where there would be tracks, let's play that. So I don't have any lyrics. I don't have anyone speaking over my track. I just have the background music. I've just split the vocal as an instrumental from a song, from any song you want. That's amazing. Now, you can imagine so many use cases when you would want to use that. I can imagine it for my own projects. When you want the music, for example, without lyrics, which would interfere or get in the way or distract from perhaps dialogue that's happening in your videos, you could use this tool. Amazing. Now, the last two tools I'm gonna show you are really useful for anyone who records and makes their own videos. We have all encountered problems many, many times where we want cleaner audio with less noise and sounds in the background, for example, and make it sound more professional. I have this issue all the time, especially when I'm sat making tutorials like this and there might be aircon sound or traffic outside. There's so many times where this has happened to me. Now with Filmora, you can fix this once again, pretty much with one click. Let me remove this stuff from the timeline so we're clean. So 
I have myself here, Filmora Test. This is me and I'm sat at my desk speaking into my microphone. So just the microphone built into my laptop, not a great quality uh, microphone, not like the one I'm recording on now. And I'm just gonna listen to this and you can hear. This is me talking from a distance into my laptop and I just want the sound quality to be slightly better and slightly clearer. So you can hear that that's not perfect. It's not crisp and clear, much like the audio you're hearing now because I have a microphone attached to the laptop as I'm speaking to you. It's slightly tinny. This would be exactly the same if you were using, for example, an onboard microphone inside a camera. Often have the same issues. Super easy to fix this with Filmora. Just click on your track you have here. Over here, make sure you're under the audio tab at the top. And if I scroll down here, you'll see AI Voice Enhancer. Just toggle that on like that and we are already, it's instantly fixing your audio for you. Now, you can toggle these up and down with the voice clarity and the voice beautification, it's called, to make your voice slightly more smooth. Let's listen to this as it is right now, and I'll toggle with those and show you. This is me talking from a distance into my laptop, and I just want the sound quality to be slightly better. Let's listen to that again. I'm gonna turn off this uh, in a moment. This is me talking from, and then let me turn this off. This is me talking. So you definitely got slightly less of a tinniness and an echo. I can move up my clarity all the way if I wanted to, even the beautification study. Let's listen to that. This is me talking from a distance. In okay, and let's take down the beautification. This is all gonna depend on your clip, how you recorded it, how your voice is. This is me talking from a distance into my Nice, and if I just turn that up slightly even. This is me talking from a distance into my laptop. Great, talking to my laptop, that's great. I often find with my voice that I have the audio clarity relatively high and the beautification slightly lower to be able to let me play that again for you. And I just want the sound quality. And I just want the sound quality. Let's play that again. And I just want the sound quality. You can hear that, right? The echo almost gone, the reverb. It's just cleaned it up to be a lot more professional. An amazing tool. Now with this tool, you can get smooth professional studio quality audio with a click, it's it's great. This brings me nicely onto the next tool I want to show you, which is called AI Audio Denoise, which I really wanted to put Filmora to the test with. Watch this. So right here, back onto the timeline, I'm just gonna delete that to clean it up. Now, I've named this clip Filmora Test 2 to put Filmora to the test for this tool. If I scroll down on the right-hand side, Denoise. Let me show you and listen to this first, okay? And this is me outside, really putting Filmora to the test. It's noisy. How will it do at cleaning up the voice? So that was me out on the street, and it was next to uh, like a store that had these machines inside that were making this noise. There's some traffic in the background, and me trying to talk into mic. So it's really sound muffled. It's very, very bad audio. You would not be able to use this at all um, if you were in a video. Could you can imagine you talking to camera and then the audio being like this? This is me outside, really putting film unbearable for any of you who are watching. So let's see if we can clean this up slightly. So there's options on the right hand side here. I can go wind removal. Yes, I think there'd be some wind in there. I'm outside and you know if you have recorded audio and you have wind blowing directly into your mic and you get that kind of sound, that's what this is for. So I'm gonna also just toggle on my normal denoise and move that up slightly. This is to denoise, this is to try and, it's gonna intelligently work out what your voice is and what's in the background, separate them, and try and turn down everything in the background. Now, I don't need to turn on for this clip some of these, but this, if you toggle this on, is reverb, de-reverb, which is if you have an echo, if you're in a place. Now, hum is great for, and I've used this, if I'm inside and there's the hum of say an aircon machine or something, a consistent hmm, humming noise, or the same with hiss right here, and you can turn that off and you can then adjust the denoise level. That's what they're for. If you have a, con a consistent hiss or hum throughout your shots, which this one doesn't have, it's very up and down. So I think all I need to do is move up the denoise and the wind removal. If you have these too much, you're gonna see you can turn your voice slightly computerized, it's gonna feel like, but this works for me. And you should toggle these up and down and see what's working. Now let's listen to this again. And this is me outside, really putting Filmora to the test. Okay, let's even turn that up even more. Side, really putting Filmora to the test. It's noisy. 
All right, you can see how much better that is. I'm gonna turn that down slightly. You can hear my voice getting slightly robotic almost, it sounds like, if you have too much of that on there for this specific clip. Outside, really putting Phil Mora to the test. Let me just remind you of what that was like before. If I turn off that and that, let's play it again. Me outside, really putting Phil Mora to the test. And then if I take off some background noise, outside really putting Phil Mora to the test. So now it's definitely become a clip that if you were playing that in a video, it's more tolerable, way more tolerable for someone to watch. So that's me in a busy street. That's your worst case scenario trying to clean up audio. If you just had a little bit of noise outside or inside, wherever you are, you can see how that's gonna clean that up really well. If it can do that to my track, then it's gonna do wonders to another. So those were four AI vocal enhancement and audio tools. They are super useful and are gonna save you loads and loads of time. Now, Filmora 14 has just been released with many AI features and I'll be continuously updating elaborate tutorials about Filmora's great new AI features in Filmora's Creator Hub. Please stay tuned for those. Now to access the Creator Hub, where there are lots of useful tutorials, you can get these in the startup window on the left or at the right higher corner in the operation panel, click the icon and get creative from the drop down. And you can find all my elaborate series and more in the Creator Hub. Just head over there and in the drop down, select courses. Or you can click the link in the description of my videos. I'll see you again really soon.